Welcome to the week ahead. It is week three and we're going to be dealing with consumer behavior this week. But before we get there, there's a couple of things that we need to talk about. So, first of all, in your weekly briefing, you we're going to talk about what's on the radar and what's on the schedule for you. To make the seminar make sense for you, you are going to need to have watched the on-demand lecture. For those of you who have not been making use of the on-demand lectures, they are located each week. They are available through YouTube, Echo360 or Microsoft Stream. Watching these is the equivalent of attending a lecture. The seminars are a live action tutorial style event. They are interactive. They're not me monologuing to a crowd. I've got pre-recorded videos for that. So the on-demand lectures, you're going to need to watch at least consumer behavior this week. I have set up a poll for how we are going to handle the week nine public holiday. Whatever the poll result is, that's what we're going to do. So get in and let your preference be heard. Vote whichever way, whether you want class to run on the Monday or class of the public holiday or classes everyone to go to the Tuesday class or everyone to take the week off. Get in there and vote. Third thing, for those of you who have signed, have accessed the site and gone into your tutorial settings, thank you. For the rest of you, please take the opportunity this week to go to the tutorial uh, section to allocate yourself either into the Zoom squad or into the on-room squad. And the reason, again, we're trying to do this is so we've got a touch point, contact point. If anything goes wrong with the room, we can reach out to the people who are planning on attending. If we need to do a snap lockdown, we can give you a heads up warning. This is here to help you. So get on it and help yourself. The other thing is that there is a pre-reading for the seminar this week. So get on it, read it. When we get into the seminar, I am going to just assume that you've done the reading. So if you haven't done the reading, it's probably going to be less fun for you. And less fun means that you're not going to get the best out of your subject. And I don't want that to happen. So please give it a pre-read. You don't need to go into huge amounts of depth, but you do need to have given it a good summary look over. And we're going to be acting on the content from the pre-readings for this week. And lastly, I have made a design change to Wattle for this week. I was I started the semester with Wattle in the compact mode, the show one week at a time mode. I have since switched it back to show all weeks, so you can see all of the content that is currently available on the Wattle site from start to finish in one continuous scroll. So we have assessment guides. They are available through the subheading assessment. There is a video and there is a Word document. Now I know from the PowerPoints, I know that uh, there's also a PowerPoint that goes with the video. But I know from looking at the background statistics in Wattle, less than a third of the class has accessed the assessment guide and the assessment video. So if you're struggling to understand what I'm looking for in the e-technology analysis, or maybe you're confused about the e-portfolio, you're unsure about how to score points in the performance review, you don't really know what the semester length project's about, and you're possibly even confused about participation and engagement, good news. We've got some tools out there to help you. So in the assessment guides, you will find a marking criteria, you will find the rubrics, you will find explanations of my expectations for the task, the purpose, the rationale, what we're trying to do with it, and how you can get the best score by creating something of value to you. So all this material is out there for you, and it's available, and it should be quite highly visible now this week in uh, the revised Wattle layout. 
So the things we want to talk about in the classes this week, we are going to be dealing with segmentation and targeting, which is why you've got the readings and why you've got the pre-recorded lecture to have a look at. Inside the courses, there's a couple of activities I want you to do, which are practice and rehearsals towards making a decision about your e-technology analysis project. Also, we have a guide manual. Now, it is referred to as the big book of things to do on the internet because it's 24 pages of possible ways you could do this project. I wrote this last year in response to students saying, but what can I do for the ETA? And this is now available to you as something to look through and go, oh yeah, I like the look of that, I'll give it a go. Functionally, we've got a lot of support out here for you because we want you to get the best you can out of it. Now the things to attend, there will be the Monday night seminars. Please get the pre-reading, get the pre-watching done. When you roll in, we're going to be asking you to do initially a live segmentation, market segmentation exercise with your peers. And we're gonna follow that up with a bit of work around using Instagram as our case study for how to do one of the parts of the ETA project. So if you are concerned about, you know, you don't know what to do with the technology analysis, come along to the seminars. We'll walk you through one of the aspects to help you prepare the best document you can for the ETA. Tutorials Alex will be hosting. And thank you to everyone who was working with our hybrid high flex mode. We are using this as a teaching experience because the ability to be able to do online and in-room collaboration together is a sought-after workplace skill. It's one we're still evolving and developing as professionals in the university. So it's super exciting to be able to teach you and work with you and evolve processes and protocols. So when you go out and work in multi-user teams and you're working across mixed environments where you've got some people in a room, some people on a Zoom, you've practiced it. You've got training in it. And lastly, the engagement opportunities for this week. A reminder that the recap padlets are in place. The, they are accessible through Wattle under the week that was, Padlet Recap. We still are running the forum DLC challenge where we are looking at, uh, we have a number of Night Stalkers have stepped up to the plate to create their course logos. Daywalkers, you're a little behind in terms of capturing the opportunity. So if you want to get your team just a little further over the line. Shadowhawkers, great to have a couple of you come on board, but you've still got some opportunities here as well. And there are a few other DLC moments coming up. So heads up, we're going to basically get some activity, uh, some more challenges for you to engage with. And the last thing I want to mention this week is thank you to the crews who have been initiating posts on the forum. Uh, love to see that work. Really appreciating you supporting the community by asking the questions, engaging with your peers, getting peer opinions and feedback. Big shout out to everyone who's also now replying. Uh, forums work when there's two-way traffic, when posting gets a response and a peer response. So big shout out. The thing to understand when you go back and have a look at the uh, supporting Word document for participation and engagement, we talk about three different types of online users of forums. And one is the type who leads off and posts the question. Another is the type who follows up with the replies and the responses. And the third is the one who sweeps in a few days later and wraps up the summary, brings it all together, responds to multiple posts at once. All three are great ways to conduct yourself and it's all about finding your preference. Which is the way you prefer to work? How is it that you like to work? We want you to work to your strengths with us to give you the best experience you can. So we've done a little course correction this week. We need to, uh, the last thing I do need to talk about is that I, because I did pull the statistics on course activity this week, and I'm going to mention this in the announcement forum as well. 
it flagged an alarm for us that people haven't been accessing the resources that are on the site and it's possible that you weren't doing that because I didn't make my site interface clean enough and clear enough to locate what was available. To make the best of this course opportunity, you need to set time aside to watch the pre-recorded videos. You need to either come to the two-hour seminar or set time aside to work with the self-service video or watch the video in the replays. The tutorials are there to support you, enhance your experience and give you a chance to collaborate and cross over and work with each other. So they're an additional hour. So there is two hours of seminar, one hour tutorial and about an hour or so of pre-recorded lecture content. Those four hours are instead of giving you a textbook, instead of giving you weekly quizzes, instead of giving you mind-numbing repetitive equations, formulas and other things, we set you a set of opportunities to go cash in. Watch those videos. Use that content to understand what your task is for the week as you develop your project, as you develop your assessment items. Come to the seminars and engage have come to seminars having read the material, having watched the video, and you're going to get more out of the seminar. So the seminars become more valuable because you're able to talk to your peers with a higher level of engagement, knowing what you're talking about, so you feel more confident. We want you to be confident, but also we want you to be curious. One of the things that's happened here is that People weren't clicking headers, they weren't clicking links, they weren't following things through. They'd look at a page and treat the page as that was it. There was a page. They, there was no follow through, no exploration. So, one of the things that I would like to give you the permission to do is to take some chances, take some risks, take some certainties, take some some very easy wins. So this week, week three, it's course correction time. We got uh, identified in the data, we've identified that there is a lack of consumption of key materials. We'd like to turn that around. We'd like to see you using the assets and using the resources so that you give yourself the best experience you can. We're starting into, we're coming up to the end of the first quarter of the semester. Things move quickly. We need you on board. And we've set up the resources so they're there for you. Alex's skill set, and Alex will be talking to you about this in the tutorials, my skill sets are available through the seminars. But ultimately, it's going to come down to you. You've got to use the stuff. This is co-creation of value. This is what the theory talks about, and it's time to live that theory out in practice. You've got to watch those videos, read those files, use those systems. Owning it isn't enough. Mere possession isn't enough. You've got to now use it. So this is your call to action this week, mates. I need you to get into the site, work through the content that's available, see what you've missed, you might have a big weekend of catch-up coming up in front of you. But get in there and also be curious. Look at files, read things, explore things. Want to know more. Need to know more. And that is part of your training. That's part of your work integrated learning to be able to look at something and go, I want to know. I want to know what the answer to this is. I want to find the problem, then find the solution. So... It's doable. We are, we've uh, detected that we're not on track. So when I run my little things at the start of these Zooms, I say, are we on track? Are we off track? We have detected that we are off track and we are taking a course correction to try and get you back on track. Work with us. Enable us to get this train back in the right direction. And let's go have a really, let's go make this closeout of the first quarter work for us so we have a really good second quarter. And with that, See you on the seminars.